I'm Steve, and welcome back to HVAC Talk Show and Review. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna to be showing the difference between the R32 heat pump and the phasing out 410A heat pump systems. R32 and R454B is a mildly flammable refrigerant, and federal regulators decided to switch to a more environmentally friendly refrigerant. And this alone created a lot of controversy. Yes, we're in transitioning now, and soon all the heat pumps and air conditioners will be factory charged with R32 or 454B. I wouldn't worry much about the flammability. R32, for example, has been around a long time in Europe and Asia, and 410A is actually 50% of R32. When we had to phase out R22, the US industry wasn't quite ready for a flammable refrigerant. So they mixed R125, which is a flame suppressant with R32. This made R410A non-flammable. As a trade-off, this slightly reduced the efficiency of 410A. Basically, R32 is doing all the work. Yes, R32 is doing all the work. We dragged these two systems here to our studio yesterday, and we will be showing it to you what the difference is between them. We got a new R32 unit right here and a phasing out R14A system right here. They both have the same identical tonnage, so it will be an apples to apples comparison. The R32 and the R454B version of the ducted air handlers and package units are not available yet, so we're not gonna be able to comment on those. Hey Steve, let's pull out the panels. Yeah, let's pull off the panels, let's right, get to it. Here we have the R32 head, and this is the 410A head. As you can see, the board is on the side now, a little bit easier to access. Yeah, that's definitely a step up from the old version. Yeah, this one you have to slide out to be able to work on it to get to it. Your terminals are in the same place. Same. They're same. pretty much dimensionally the same. The coils, are basically the same. This one has a little bit skinnier tubes in there. This one has a little bit bigger tubes. Yeah, but this one has three rows. This one has three rows and some parts. They added a layer in certain parts of it. I'm pretty guessing good. that's for efficiency. Other than that, they're pretty similar. R32, you have your board on the top. This is your inverter board. All your components in here. Compared to the 410A, you have the small board over here and all your components in here. One of the main differences that I noticed between these two is this R32 has a discharge pressure sensor right here. This one doesn't have that. Pretty much as everything is the same. EEV, EEV. The compressors are both Daikin. And then let's get to the coils. So the coils are pretty similar. The only difference is on this one, you see the, the size here is about an inch and a half all the way around. This one, they added a second layer right here. It goes to about 15 inches and it stops right there. Wow. Another thing I noticed about the difference with this new 18 CR2 R32 is the fan blade. If you look at the pitch on this thing, it's very extreme. It looks like it moves a lot of air. It's got noise reducing fan blade and it has these notches in here. Wow. And I'm sure that's to quiet it down. Oh yeah. And that's probably for efficiency too, like why it's moving so much air. That gives you... The fan blade is huge. Yeah, moving a ton huge. of air. Versus this one, compared to this, this one. Is very yeah, this has noise reducing and it's also a, a composite material. And it does not have those notches. But it doesn't have the notches in it. It's not R32 as big. The R32 version, yeah. It's not as big and it, and it, and it uh, doesn't have as much pitch to it. No. The sensor is pretty much mounted in the same the spot. Sensor's the same. Same spot. And the big thing, when you get the R32 unit, it's gonna have these red tags on here to let you know it's an A2L refrigerant. Also, on the equipment, if you look all over the place, they have these tags on here telling you it's mildly flammable A2L refrigerant. So the old 410A has two boards here compared to the new R32 18 CR2 unit has one board. Everything's all in one. So your 410A version has two boards compared to your 18 CR2 R32 unit has one board. Looks like it simplified it more. Oh yeah, it's a lot easier for diagnostics. Yeah. You're going out there for a call and then now you have a mountain to hike. This way you know, okay, it needs a board, that's it, in and out. Mm -hmm. So it's it's more like a step up. Yeah. When it yeah. comes to efficiency, the A2L R32 system here is an 18 SEER 2. The 410A version is a 17 SEER. Yes, there's a difference between SEER and SEER 2, and we're not using SEER anymore, we're only using SEER 2 from now on. When it comes to dimensions, this one is a little bit taller. However, this one is shorter, but it's also deeper and longer. And the warranty on both of these systems is exactly the same. Chris and I were always interested in what's inside the condensers and the air handlers. When it comes to quality after going through the components, 
It appears to me that the new R32 version has improved quality. When it comes to cost of the refrigerant, they're both about the same price right now, but that could change at any time. It could change at any time. When it comes to charging the new R32 equipment, most of the tools are fine. Just make sure the A2L compatible. Here is our conclusion. After reviewing the components, we think that the new R32 equipment is better, but only time will tell. One thing is for sure, R410A caused so much controversy ever since it came into existence that we're actually looking forward to a new chapter. And I agree with Steve. My hunch is that it's gonna be more efficient and more reliable. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.